Let's face it, life can be tough, especially for men. Society has set high expectations on what it means to be a real man. You're expected to be tough, confident, and successful. But what happens when you feel like you're falling short of these expectations? It can be overwhelming, and it's easy to feel like you're not good enough. But you know what? You deserve better. You deserve to be a high-value man. So what does it take to become one? Let's find out together. Chapter 1. Building High-Value Skills Listen up, soldier. If you really want to become a high-value man, you need to start building high-value skills. This isn't some fluffy self-help advice. This is a cold, hard truth. Without high-value skills, you're just another mediocre man in a sea of mediocrity. You're not a leader. You're not a trailblazer. You're not making a difference in the world. So what are high-value skills? They are the skills that are in demand and can make a difference in the world. They are the skills that can help set you apart from the rest and give you a competitive edge. They are the skills that can open doors and lead to success. But developing high-value skills isn't easy. Wouldn't be fun if it was, right? It takes hard work, dedication, and a willingness to push yourself out of your comfort zone. You can't just sit on your ass and wait for these skills to magically appear. You have to actively seek them out and cultivate them. It starts with identifying your strengths and interests. What are you naturally good at? What do you enjoy doing? Once you have a clear sense of your strengths, you can begin to develop and market your skills. Don't waste your time scrolling mindlessly on TikTok when you could use that time to become the man that you dream of being. Take courses, read books, practice, and seek out opportunities to showcase your skills. And don't make the mistake of thinking that once you've developed these skills, the work's done. High-value skills require constant improvement and refinement. You need to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies in whatever field you've picked. You need to keep practicing and pushing yourself to be better. You need to keep seeking out opportunities to showcase your skills and prove your worth. Building high-value skills is not for the faint of heart. It takes grit, determination, and a willingness to embrace discomfort. But if you're willing to put in the work, then the rewards are immense. You could become a high-value man who stands out from the crowd and commands respect. You could make a difference in the world and leave a lasting legacy. So start building those high-value skills today, soldier. <laughs> the world is waiting for you to step up and make your mark taking risks. So you thought that was <laughs> just enough to build up high-value skills, huh? Well, becoming a man is a little more than that. It's about taking risks. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and facing your fears. It's about pushing yourself to the limits and discovering what you're really made of. And let's be honest, taking risks is scary as hell. It means putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and facing the possibility of failure rejection or embarrassment, but that's exactly what makes it so important. It's about pushing yourself to the edge and discovering what you're really capable of. Just look at David Goggins. The man is the epitome of taking risks and overcoming adversity. He's a former Navy SEAL who overcame a childhood of abuse, poverty, and racism to become one of the world's most elite endurance athletes. He's pushed himself to the limits and discovered what he's truly capable of. One of Goggin's famous quotes is, I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. I figured it out. I realized if I keep going back and back again, your mind will say, fuck, we're going to have to figure it out because he ain't going to stop. That's the kind of mentality you need if you want to take risks and push yourself to the limits. So how do you do it? How do you overcome your fear and take calculated risks? It starts with shifting your mindset. Rather than focusing on the potential downsides, focus on the potential rewards. Visualize your success and let that motivate you. Think about the person you want to become and the life you want to live. And don't make the mistake of thinking that you have to take huge, life-altering risks to achieve success. Small, calculated risks can be just as effective. It could even be as simple as speaking up in a meeting or trying a new hobby. Whatever the risk, the key is to take action and face your fears head on. Learning to fight. Everyone wants to be a fighter until it's time to do fighter shit. 
Nick Diaz once said, one of the most notorious fighters in the MMA world. And it's true, everyone wants to be a fighter, but very few are willing to put in the work to become one. Learning to fight is not just about physical training. It's about building mental resilience, discipline, and confidence. It's about pushing yourself to the limit and discovering what you're truly capable of. And let's be honest, the world can be a dangerous place. Whether that's a physical attack or a mental one, we all need to know how to defend ourselves. And that's where learning to fight comes in. Training in martial arts, wrestling, or MMA can teach you not only how to defend yourself, but how to become mentally and physically stronger. It's about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and learning how to handle stress and pressure. Learning to fight can also help you develop discipline and focus. It takes dedication and hard work to become proficient in any martial art or combat sport. It's about setting goals and working tirelessly to achieve them. But learning to fight is not just about the physical benefits. It's also about the mental benefits. It's about developing the mental toughness to handle any challenge that comes your way. It's about learning to stay calm under pressure and overcome adversity. So if you want to become a high-value man, start learning to fight. Whether it's jiu-jitsu, MMA, wrestling, or any other combat sport, training in martial arts can help you become physically and mentally stronger. It can help you build the resilience, discipline, and confidence you need to face any challenge that comes your way. Don't just talk about being a fighter, my friend. Be a fighter. Train hard. Push yourself and, and become the man who can handle anything that life throws his way. Lifting weights and increasing testosterone. I know it's easy to make excuses when it comes to lifting weights and taking care of your physical health. Maybe it's too cold outside. Maybe you're just too tired to hit the gym. But let me tell you, those are excuses. Working out has incredible benefits, not just for your physical health, but for your mental health too. It can reduce symptoms of depression, anxiety, and stress. It can also help you build confidence and self-esteem and appreciate what you see in the mirror. No matter how you feel about going to the gym on any given day, you will never regret going to the gym once you're done. The feeling of accomplishment, of, of pushing past your limits and getting stronger is... It's unparalleled. And when you increase your testosterone levels through weightlifting, you'll experience more energy, improved mood, increased sex drive. And that's not to say weightlifting is exclusively what you should do. Cardio is an effective mix. Don't be one of those bros who just lifts all the time. Stretching and cardio is important. So again, don't make excuses, my friend. Make a commitment to your physical and mental health. Start lifting weights and increasing your testosterone levels today. And becoming the high-value man that you were meant to be. Having more sex. Speaking of working out, have you had sex yet? If, if not, you're missing out on one of the most pleasurable and beneficial experiences of your life. But of course, it can be scary. You might be afraid of rejection, of, of not knowing what to do, of looking into a girl's eyes and feeling vulnerable. But the truth is, if you don't try, you will never succeed. If you stay home and fantasize about sex, well, your hand will be the only girlfriend you've ever had, or boyfriend. <laughs> You need to get out there. You need to approach women, talk to them, and take a chance. Yes, it's uncomfortable and scary, but that's the point. You need to push past your fears and discomfort to become the high-value man you're meant to be. And when you start having regular sexual activity, you'll experience the physical, mental, and emotional benefits that come with. You'll feel less stressed, sleep better, and boost your immune system. You'll also deepen your emotional bond with your partner and become more confident and capable in all areas of your life. Confidence stems from within, but is built from experience. It won't just come to you. It won't knock on your door. You must chase it with vigor, and I'll show you how. Chapter 1. Develop a Growth Mindset The way we look, smell, and behave, or even react is not fixed. Our brains are adaptable to change, which means that you are. The person that you are as you watch this video will not be the person watching it in a year. Regardless of that's positive, negative, that is just a fact. That is, unless you stand by being in a fixed mindset. The false notion that you're unchangeable. The belief that you have nothing new to learn that's worth your time. 
This is something you don't wish to be, and it's entirely possible you are and you don't even notice it. What you must chase continuously, vigorously, is a growth mindset. Lots of fun made-up names, right? But listen, if you truly want to improve yourself and become the best version of yourself, you need to adopt that mindset. This means by recognizing that your abilities and talents are not fixed, but can be developed through hard work and dedication. It means embracing challenges and failures, and viewing them as opportunities for growth and learning. You see, the paradox of success is that it cannot happen without failure. In his book, Black Box Thinking, Matthew Saeed explains that the most successful people are those who embrace failure and use it as a tool for improvement. They recognize that failure is not a sign of weakness, but it is a necessary step to the road of success. The way the aviation industry prevents catastrophes today is with the knowledge and experiences from previous failures. Success comes at the cost of failure. To develop a growth mindset, you need to embrace this paradox of success. You need to recognize that failure is not something to be feared or avoided, but something to be embraced and learned from. When you face a challenge and fail, don't give up. Instead, reflect on what went wrong and what you can do differently next time. Use the feedback and lessons learned to improve yourself and your approach. The key to adopting a growth mindset is to focus on effort rather than talent. Talent is not enough. You need to be willing to put in the work to improve yourself. When faced with a challenge, don't be intimidated. Lean into it. Put in the effort to overcome it. Seek feedback and constructive criticism and use that to improve yourself. Imagine my friend, who shall remain nameless. He sought me out. He didn't know how to approach women and was feeling depressed. He was 25 years old. And although he did what most people already failed to do, which was try and approach them, he never learned from his rookie errors. I provided him with harsh but very true and very valuable advice. But I could tell he wasn't really listening and the failure of listening and understanding the mistakes that he made. Well, yep, he inevitably made the same mistakes again and again. And each one struck harder than the last one. And he told me, I don't get it. What's wrong with me? Why does no one want me? This was a major crack in his confidence. He approached women in an aggressive manner. His, his flirting seemed like <laughs> verbal assault, and it made them feel uncomfortable. Then every once in a while, he would come home with a broken nose and a, and a shoe missing. When you experience failure, it's not only important to understand it, to analyze it, but to approach it with a new perspective. When you learn from errors instead of being crushed by them, your confidence in yourself will rise to levels that you didn't think were possible. It'll lift your spirits so high that you'll start questioning why you didn't do it earlier. But let me be clear, developing a growth mindset is not easy. It requires hard work, dedication, and the willingness to face your fears and embrace discomfort. Because, believe me, it will be uncomfortable. But here's the thing, the rewards are worth it. When you adopt a growth mindset, you'll become more resilient, more adaptable, and more confident. And here's a golden nugget of wisdom. You have things hidden in your genes. Things that you will never know about until you unlock them by having these new experiences. This is something that 99% of people in these situations, possibly including you, don't realize. You'll never run out of ways to surprise yourself and others. But you can't do that by being imprisoned in your comfort zone. Chapter 2. Ah, uh, convenient here. Embrace discomfort. Every day you're trying to find more of what you're capable of. And that's the big question. What are you capable of? Stop doing the things that you do every day. If, if you run every day, go swim. David Goggins. A very confident man was once the most uncomfortable in the area that he now excels in. That can be applied to every area of your life. See, if you embrace discomfort, it's through pushing yourself out of your comfort zone that you develop resilience and grit, unlocking your full potential. Just like adopting a growth mindset is the key, embracing discomfort is the engine. So, what does that even mean? If you're feeling down because you're alone and wish to have a certain someone in life, you must start with either looking or taking the opportunity when it shows. Real commitment takes courage especially when it's new. Anything in life that is new will bring you a sense of anxiety and discomfort on some level, obviously different per the person, but still, 
You can't expect to build a family if you can't talk to a woman who desires you. And yet, you can't improve if you don't try, and try again, and then again, and then one more time again. Until it clicks. What do you think happens when you try? You possibly fail, or maybe you do it. <laughs> Regardless of that, you can't do it if you never push through that comfort. What's that classic timeless saying you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take? The anxious mind will tell you stories of how wrong it can go. It'll tell you how embarrassing you're gonna be and how humiliating you'll feel after it. But guess what? That's all stories. It's all bullshit. This is the part of your mind that you can learn to turn off. And that it will, that's gonna come at the cost of nerves. Being in the moment is rewarding, but terrifying. And you know, the brain likes to make up stories. Stories of what could happen. Equally, the brain will tell you how amazing you are when you emerge victorious, and in turn you'll be rewarded with a more resilient and confident mind. It has to be built like a muscle. So how do you embrace the discomfort in your life? It's simple in practice, but perhaps not in execution. You push yourself. You set challenging goals, face your fears, and try new things. Step outside of your comfort zone and embrace the unknown. Here are some ways you could get started. Set challenging goals. Don't settle for mediocrity. Set challenging goals for yourself and work hard to achieve them. Whether it's running a marathon, starting your own business, or learning a new language, challenge yourself to be better. Face your fears. We all have them, whether it's public speaking, heights, or failure. Instead of avoiding them, face them head on. Take small steps to confront your fears and over time they'll become much less intimidating. Try new things. Don't get stuck in a rut. Try new things. Whether it's a new hobby, a new cuisine, a new travel destination, you'll be surprised about how much you could learn and grow just by doing new stuff. Push yourself physically. Exercise, again, classic, timeless advice. It's not just good for your body to work out. It's also good for your mind. Push yourself physically by trying new workouts. Increase the intensity of your current routine or sign up for a new challenging physical event. It's scary to face new challenges or situations. It is, but in the end, you're going to become resilient to them, and not just the things that you challenge, but also to the process of challenging things. Humans are adaptable creatures, and what's used to be terrifying to us can quickly become second nature with practice and repetition. So go out there, embrace discomfort, you champion. Challenge yourself, face your fears, and try new things. With discipline, perseverance, and a willingness to push yourself, you can become the best version of you. Remember, the road to success is paved with discomfort and challenges, but it's also the road to personal growth and fulfillment. We started this with some Paulo Coelho, and we'll end it there too. As he once said, the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself. However, you won't suffer in search of your heart's dream. It, it's the same quote, just worded differently. Later.